Hi guys. Right now we have done the rebase with master, but there are some cases where at the time we are doing the rebasing, it is not 100% that we can directly put the feature that we built on top of the latest master or any kind of other branch that we have because maybe at some point of time both changes both branches might have edited the same line for example in master branch we have edited line 4 and in your feature branch you also edited line 4 so the git wouldn't know which one to choose from in this case we are calling that we hit a conflict so in order to resolve the conflict you need to do manual selection now well, we are simulated by editing our master. Now I'm already in the master branch. Again, you might have a different file compared to mine, but it doesn't matter as long as the concept is there. So I'm going to add anything for the master branch. And remember the line I added is line 4. I'll add the changes. I will commit it. Update line 4. And I will go to the feature branch, which is, which is feature B. Now we have already get the feature B, and we are going to edit the line 4 as well to make it different with master. Now I'm going to edit changes, commit, edit it, line 4. Right now we already have two commits which work on the same line, which is line 4. Now we try to do rebase with master. As you can see, much conflict occurs and Git is showing us that in order to continue doing rebase, you need to resolve the conflicts manually and mark them as resolved. After you add them at the files that you have edited, you need to run git rebase continue. Well now there's a scenario here. Git rebase continue will continue doing the rebase things after you resolve the conflicts. Whereas, git rebase skip, will skip the current rebase and proceed with the next ones. And the third one is a reabort, which will roll back all the rebase that you have done and put the feature branch at its original step before rebase. So now, we are going to prioritize using continue. So, as you can see here, it is a little bit editor dependent if you want a better experience for the resolving merge conflicts for example you can like use the visual studio code it has some built-in features here that we can accept the current change or accept the incoming change and so on and so forth so for the other IDE will they you have their own way of resolving your conflicts you need to confirm by reading their documentations now I'm going to accept the incoming change, which is the feature change to change the line 4 to AB. After I edit the code here, I need to save the file and go back to here using the add dot and continue with rebase using rebase continue. Now I'm applying a new change, which is the commit for the feature branch. Now we have successfully rebased our branch with master branch. What occurred here is that we, t we have told Git to abort the change from master. In fact, use the change in your feature branch. So this is the reason why after you do the rebase, AB will be chosen. So you have your complete freedom to choose whether you want the change from master or you want the change from feature branch or you want to have both changes or you don't want to have any change. Yeah. It's completely up to you to make the decision. Resolving conflict is a very common thing because you are not working alone. People might be working on different features, but we might touch the same files by any situations. Yeah, it can happen very, very frequently. So you need to be careful when you are doing the rebase to make sure that you don't break anything. After you do the rebase, remember to test your codes properly. So if you have any problem with git rebase continue, you might get something, some error like uh, there's no changes, uh, please add the changes, then run again. In this case, remember, you use this skip. 
this will happen if you accept the changes from master yeah it might happen so if you have to skip the current rebase then it will proceed with the future ones and this is a safe web I can say so if you have problem using continue then you use the skip if you are not confident enough then do, don't do the rebase first you abort it yeah but still because of rebase we are able to actually avoid the merge conflicts when we are trying to merge the codes with the master in the server so this is my preferred practice is to do the rebase myself first then request for the merge request then by doing this I can reduce the risk of having merge requests when I try to merge the codes by using the IDE later on I will show you what's the situation how to merge with our master codes right that's it see ya